Hello everyone, this is Mrs Edwards bringing you your geography lesson this week. We are still looking at the topic of houses and homes, but today we are going to be looking specifically at physical features within our locality and human features within our locality. So today's target is to recognise human features in our locality. Now if you remember, human features are things in the area that we have made so it could be shops, bridges, houses, um, sort of um, statues, things, like, things that we have made that we have added to our environment and we are also going to be recognising physical features in our locality and if you remember physical features is things that nature has made so rivers streams mountains hills and um, big parkland things like that so what we are going to do to be successful today is we are going to use aerial photos to spot human and physical features and we're also going to be able to use maps to spot human and physical features so what is a human feature? So I briefly identified this in our um, target today. It says here, human features like houses, roads and bridges are things that have been built by people. Now if you remember last week we looked at this structure here. This is the um, ruins of Dudley Castle. And that is definitely a human feature in our locality. And then here is an aerial photograph of um, our immediate area. There's all the crescents. And then here, do you remember I said our school had got lovely light green roofs? That there is our school. And our school is definitely a human feature because somebody built it. Someone made it. And in fact... This whole photo here is a beautiful example of geographical human features because you can see the patterns of the roads that have been built. You can see the lovely little squares of people's homes in this photo. And all of these buildings and all of these lovely roads are human features um, in this um photo which is lovely and then here I've got a map and what I've done is I've had a look at it and I've tried to circle some really important human features in our area so we've got here Wren's Nest Post Office so this is really close to our school our school's probably about here we've got Wren's Nest Post Office and that's in a big red circle because like I said that's where our school is as well and then we've got the Black Country Living Museum, which I love to visit when it's um, nice and sunny. Dudley Zoo and Castle, that's a human feature. West Midlands Ambulance Service, their building there was, was built by people. Dudley Fire Station, their, their building was built by people. And I've even circled, I don't know if you can see it there, McDonald's in Upper Gornal. I don't know if anybody goes there ever for, for a treat for their tea or their dinner. But yeah, all of these things are human features because they have been made by people, okay? So we've got buildings, shops, schools, um, castles, all of those things are human features. Now, let's have a look at physical features. So physical features like seas, mountains and rivers are natural they would be around even if there were no people around because people didn't have anything to do with them. Nature created them and, and nature sort of, it just happened and it's a natural physical feature in the, um, in the area. So I've got two maps this time. I've got a map of Dudley here. Okay, and our school's sort of, I think our school's just there because I can see the crescent there. So our school's just here. And I've chosen a few lovely physical features. And lots. what's really wonderful about the area of Dudley is there are lots of nature reserves nearby. So we've got Cotwall End Local Nature Reserve here. Then we've got the Wren's Nest Nature Reserve, which we visit lots. 
Then there's Sheep Wash Nature Reserve and then just down here near Netherton is Warren's Hall Local Nature Reserve. So all of those places are physical features, they're natural, they're, it's grassland, woodland, um, lovely nature that needs protecting. And then in this map I've actually got a map of where I live. So this little star here is where Mrs Edwards lives and you can see there are some human features there are some big roads by me look but this big circle here what do you think that blue line is that blue line is a river and I'm very lucky because I live quite close to a river and you can see I've taken a photograph and I often walk past these beautiful houses and think oh wouldn't it be lovely to live there and have a river right on your doorstep but this is the river, river Salwarp and it's a river that's close by to me and um, it's a lovely natural physical feature in my geographical environment so I'm really really lucky to have that and you're very lucky to have all these wonderful nature reserves nearby so human feature is what people have made, a physical feature is what is natural, what's already there. So I've put up an aerial photo so that you can see if you can spot a human feature. So have a good look at this photo. Can you spot a human feature? Okay. Let's see. So you may have chosen our school. This is our school with its green roofs. You may have chosen the Wedlock School, which is just here. You may have picked a house. You might have gone, oh, Ivy Road. I live down there. I'll pick my house. There it is. Or you might live down Foxglove Road and you might have picked your house down there. I can even see some takeaway shops, an antique shop. So there's lots of human features that you could have chosen. Any of these houses along here are human features. You might have picked the road. You might have said, I'm gonna choose Gorse Road because I know somebody built Gorse Road. Or you might have said, I'm going to choose Willow Road because somebody built Willow Road. If you chose a house, a shop, a school or a road you would be correct in choosing a human feature so well done okay then same aerial photograph again but this time I need you to spot a physical feature and I'm going to explain physical feature again just so we're really clear a physical feature is something that people had nothing to do with. It's natural. So you can't choose a garden because at some point people would have put their gardens together. So even though it's natural, even though it's, it's grass or trees, we sort of made it so I kind of think it's cheating a little bit. So I want you to look at this photo and see if you can find an area that has a physical feature that we didn't have anything to do with that's natural that's already that was always there okay have a good look and let's have a check so really there's only one area to choose and it's this strip of land here ignore that house that house shouldn't be in the circle I, I couldn't make the circle go around the house but it's this part here because if you look all the other bits of green are attached to either our school that's our school playing field there um, and we would have done that at some point people would have done that so we can't pick any of the gardens but this, I believe, is our wren's nest, right? Nature Reserve. Look, I can see all the bits where the fossils are. I can see all the little tiny walkways that people have made walking to and from the Nature Reserve. All these trees would have been here forever. Well, not forever, but for a very, very long time. So this section here on this photograph demonstrates a lovely physical feature in our local area. So I hope you chose this lovely 
this lovely part of natural um, sort of parkland, grassland, natureland. Okay then, so let's play a little game now. The game is called, is it a human or physical feature? And I've got up four photographs and I need you to decide whether it's a human feature, whether somebody made it, or whether it's a physical feature, whether it was always there because it's a natural feature in the environment. And obviously you can't, you haven't got these photos at home, but maybe you could have a go at drawing the photos or you could just um, write what they are. So we've got here, we've got um, a bridge, we've got what looks like a lake, we've got a road and we've got what looks like um, sort of a mountain scene with a lake as well. So you might just want to write the words and you've got to decide whether it's physical or human and put the right word under the picture. So I will pause the video at this point to have a good think and then we'll check our answer once you press play. Okay then, so this is a bridge. It is definitely a human feature because nature cannot make bridges like this. It looks like it's made from metal and it looks like somebody took a very long time to build it nice and strong. So that is a human feature. This absolutely beautiful landscape is physical. Lots of lovely grassland, lots of beautiful natural water. It is physical, it's natural, it looks like it's always been there. Here, we have got some physical features, beautiful trees, but the main point of this photo is this big road running through it and that is a human feature. Big roads like that have been made by people and therefore they are human features. And then this is stunning. I do not know what part of the world um, that is but I would love to go there. And it's a wonderful, wonderful example of a physical feature. Um, now these are not in our local area but I just used them to check that you understand the difference between human and physical features. So, well done if you got them all right. The bridge and the road are human features because people made them. The mountains, oh and this is a river not a lake. The mountains and the river, sorry, that's my fault, are physical features. So well done if you got those all right. Okay then, so our last task for today, I wanted to make it a little bit fun. Um, I wanted us to make a physical feature and I decided to choose our Wren's Nest post office. Now you can see here, this is our Wren's Nest post office. There's actually a picture of um, a postman collecting all the letters, which is lovely. Oh dear. Oh, the yawns have started year one, goodness me. So... I thought we could make a physical feature. Now you might not have all these um, things to hand right now, so maybe over the next couple of days um, have a rifle through your cupboards and see if you can get a hold of some bits and pieces because you will need um, a little cereal box and that's going to be the basis for the shop. So you can see here this is just a cereal box that's been decorated. Then you might want a toilet roll or a crisps tube um, for the actual post box and then what I thought you could do is use paints or coloured crayons or felt tips or coloured paper to decorate the cereal box and add details to make it look like our Wren's Nest post box, our Wren's Nest post office. So you'll need to look at the colours, so you, you'll want a nice white strip across the top with a, a red oval, same post office. You might want to colour the windows in red, do some lovely brown brickwork. But I thought it would be really nice to make um, a physical feature from our locality. And I thought the post office is a really good one to choose, because I imagine at some point everybody's popped into the post office at some point or another. Now, I did think, wouldn't it be lovely to make a, oh my goodness, year ones? What's Mrs Edwards just been saying? Oh no! 
I hope through all of that you were all yelling at me because I have used one one word one word on this slide very very wrongly. Is a post office a physical feature? Is it a physical feature? No, it is not, Mrs. Edwards. No wonder you're yawning. You're very tired this morning. It is not a physical feature. It is a human feature because we built it. Humans built our post office. And I was about to say, I thought it would be really nice if we could do a physical feature. And then I thought, but we can't do a physical feature because if we try to do a river or a mountain or a hill, we would have made it and that wouldn't then be a physical feature, it would be a human feature and that's when I realised I'd written the wrong word here. Goodness me, do you know guys, that's one thing that you've got to learn about grown-ups. Everybody makes silly little mistakes sometimes and as long as you realise it, that's okay. So I've realised that the post office is definitely not physical. It's not a mountain, it's not a lake or a river. It is a man-made human feature and I'm really sorry year ones that I picked the wrong word there. So Mrs Edwards, sometimes you can be so silly. So we're going to make a human feature, human because we made it, not a physical feature and I just thought it would be really nice to have something fun to do. So useful if you've got things like blue tack, sellotape, glue. If you don't, that's fine. If you just turn the cereal box inside out, you can then colour straight onto the back of the cardboard, um, which is one tip that I've done before. So um, yeah, have fun making your human feature our post office. And um, let's check how we got on with our targets for today. So we were really good at finding um, human features in our locality. We spotted um, our school, we spotted our roads, we spotted um, lots of different shops. And we also had a little look at physical features. We found um, the River Salwarp by Mrs Edwards House and we found all of those wonderful nature reserves um, in and around Dudley which were lovely. And we did that by using photos and maps, didn't we? So I actually think we've had a really successful lesson today. I think we've learned something new. Mrs Edwards has definitely learned something new. What have I learned, year ones? That a post office is a human feature, not a physical one. Um, so a big, big well done today. I hope you enjoy having a go at making your human feature of a post office. And... Um, yeah, I would love to see photos of that or even um, if you put them, maybe fit when you finish, put them in your window and when I'm driving to work I can have a, have a spot to see who's made um, a post office. That would be really fun to see. So WhatsApp me on 07858 or drop me an email at year1 at rens-nest.dudley.shoe.uk or... Um, I wouldn't advise bringing your post office down to the post box because I've got a feeling it probably wouldn't fit. Um, but if you've got a photo of it or a drawing of it or any of your other work, um, literacy or numeracy or science or geography, just please bring it down to the post office post box not the real one not the one not the one not Ren's nest elbows box on our drive um and i would love to have a little look at that so um thank you very much year ones i hope you've enjoyed um your jog for lesson today and i hope you've had a giggle at mrs edwards getting um something catastrophically wrong today um and i hope you don't mind that i realized my mistake um so take care stay safe and i'll see you very soon bye bye